Ωραία. Αυτά. Τα δάχτυλα έχουν πάντα δύο δάχτυλα. Good morning, distinguished guests, dear colleagues, dear parents, dear students. Thank you for accepting our invitation to the eighth edition of the Welcoming Day Seminar dedicated to the freshmen of the English section. We are glad to have you here. Our rector, Anka Dana Buzanu, send you all the greetings and uh, I uh, uh, will uh, welcome you. Dear students, it is with great joy that I congratulate you on your choice and welcome you to the University of Medicine and Pharmacy, Yul Hatseganu, the place that will become your second home. You have become students of a university which had a very good national and international prestige and which is the leader of higher medical and pharmaceutical education in Romania. Cluj-Napoca is one of the largest cities in Transylvania and the second largest city in Romania in terms of population, importance and economic development. It is one of the largest Romanian university centers with an intense social, economic and cultural life. The city has almost half a million inhabitants, 60,000 students, and very important, it's a safe, welcoming, and very friendly city, as you will discover. First, I would like to begin with a few words about our university that bears the name of Yulio Hatseganu. Yulio Hatseganu was an internist doctor, particularly recognized for research in the field of tuberculosis. He founded at Cluj, a valuable school of internal medicine. He was a brilliant clinician with impeccable intuition, intelligence, and also empathy to our patients. We still have him today as a model for our graduates. The University of Medicine and Pharmacy, Julio Hatseganu, is the institution with the longest tradition of medical education in Transylvania. It was founded in Cluj Napoca in 1776 uh, during the Austro-Hungarian Empire by the Empress Maria Theresa. At the end of the First World War, in the context of the unification of Transylvania with Romania, it becomes a Romanian university. After 1990, the University of Medicine and Pharmacy was named after Professor and Director Yuli Hatseganu. The foundation was led for lines of study with teaching in English and in France, and also it is a center of excellence and research. The English section was founded in 1996, and now has, it has over 1,400 students. Today, we are welcoming you as our new generation of 250 English-speaking students. Since 2010, Yulio Hatseganu University is situated among the universities of advanced research and education and ranks among the top 1,000 universities in the world and is the first among all Romanian universities in terms of research activities. The university has three faculties. These faculties offer specialization in the medical and pharmaceutical field. A part of this specialization are offered in the three languages, as I said, Romanian, English, and French. All very important. All the degrees awarded by the Yulio Hasegan University of Medicine and Pharmacy are automatically recognized all over the European Union and also by the Israeli state. Today, our university has more than 9,000 students, of which more than 3,000 are international students from all over the world, from more than 51 countries. Now, our, big, our biggest uh, challenge is to help you achieve and adapt uh, to the cultural life of the city because it will be the place where we, you will spend 
at least five or six years of your lives, very important uh, years, and uh, we want you to live here as at your second home. With the help of the Student Association, we have a variety of programs to help you adapt to our community, to our city, and to our culture. The Yulia Hatsegan University of Medicine is an international and it's a multicultural university. We have the biggest French-speaking students community outside of France and the highest number of foreign students in Romania due to an attractive study offer, a clinical teaching based on direct contact with the patient, which has always been a feature of the Romanian medical higher education, the excellent expertise and enthusiasm of our teachers, a full of hospitality environment, a very active student life, and a permanent dialogue with the students. And also, I must stress again, it's a safe city in a safe country. Maybe we said it's the safest in all the Southeast Europe. And uh, it's uh, because it is very attractive, the dynamic of the candidates was uh, increased in the last years uh, we arrived to have one candidate for one place. Each of the departments of the faculty has a complex and a rich material base allowing a modern education and including uh, specific materials and equipment as well as, as laboratories and specialized libraries. In the Faculty of Medicine, from the third year, the students are trained in uh, clinical departments. Also, we, has, uh, uh, here we, has, we have a new uh, simulation center uh, that allows you to learn and train uh, uh, medical activities uh, before interacting with the patients. And uh, your clinical activities begin even uh, earlier, during the first year, you will have activities for the first aid of clinical emergencies. The Faculty of Pharmacy. Oh, okay, here, the Faculty of Pharmacy stands out at the national level for its constant concern for assimilating the latest knowledge and newest learning methods, but also for its integration into European training and research networks. It graduates easily find their place of work in international research or professional structures. <laughs> the Faculty of Dental Medicine is also present with teaching in English and in French and it's full of activities on simulation and on uh, clinical patients also beginning from the first year. The research projects carried out by the bachelor and PH students are highly encouraged to ground scholarship and mobility programs. For example, we offer annually 50 grants, more than 2,000 euros each for students involved in scientific research. Our research project in the university involved most or all uh, the area of medicine and pharmacy, but we have a special affinity towards neuroscience, oncology, cardiovascular field, and, personal, and personalized medicine. And uh, also, I must stress again that our university is ranked the first among all Romanian universities in terms of research activities. The campus life, the student's life, is very active. We have uh, Two modern student campuses. You will discover them in Hajdeu and Observator student campuses. They are located near the central area of the city and also they are very close to the educational spaces, the University of Medicine, uh, amphitheater, amphitheaters and uh, medical clinics. These uh, dormitories have uh, a capacity of more than 2,400 uh, places for Romanian and foreign students and also for resident doctors. Uh, all these uh, campus have been recently renovated and provide optimal accommodation condition uh, in very good condition and also internet 
and also many good things that you will discover. The student restaurant provides meals created by our nutritional and dietetic specialists. The health of our students is very important to us. Uh, the health care is provided by the student polyclinic. It offers a wide range of specialist services through its medical staff and all foreign students benefit from the medical contacts and free treatments. We have also a psychological counseling and career guidance center for the development of your personalities. Our, our uh, library is called Valeriu Bologa. It's very near, has a collection of over 125,000 volumes, books and magazines, and we are offering free access of the entire book collection, and also we offer free access to a lot of uh, online uh, bibliographies, books and uh, journals. The campus life is very active during the day, during the night. We hope that you will discover both and you will appreciate more, let's say, the day life, uh, life but not only. The students of the three faculties of our university, medicine, pharmacy and uh, medical dentistry have their own organization since 1995. In parallel with the academic program, this association runs a lot of projects, social campaigns, sport competition, and scientific events. Their extracurricular activities have a powerful impact in our community, and we are very proud to support them each time, and we encourage all of you to get involved in their activities. Dear students, the main thing you'll have to remember every day is to enjoy the experience of being a student of our university in Cluj-Napoca. Celebrate every achievement, learn from your mistakes, and don't let anyone discourage you from your goal. I firmly believe that you have the necessary qualities, the desire and the strength to achieve whatever you want. And all the staff of the university will be uh, beside you all the time, whatever problem will arrive. I wish you a very great academic year with good results. Good luck and have a good year in our university. Now, in the end, I would like to show you uh, a few highlights from this year's uh, graduation ceremony to look how it will uh, look your ceremony six years from now on.
you will discover there are many unique features of living in Cluj and of uh, being a student of Julia Tsagan University of Medicine. Unique features in uh, Romania and in uh, Europe. And because uh, here are also the students from the University of uh, Veterinary uh, Sciences, uh, uh, I will uh, address uh, Madame uh, Sanda Andrei, who is Vice Dean of the Veterinary Medicine Faculty, and we, she will tell you a few words. Distinguished guests, dear colleagues, dear students and parents, to begin with, I would like to wish you a warm welcome on behalf of the Rector of the University of Agricultural Sciences and Veterinary Medicine, Professor Cornel Catoy, on behalf of our Dean and all staff, teaching staff of the Faculty of the Veterinary Medicine. Please allow me to express my gratitude for choosing Cluj-Napoca, for choosing our faculty to pursue your veterinary studies here in Cluj-Napoca. I am sure that we'll be more than satisfied with your decision. Our faculty uh, is known to be, both nationally and internationally, the first veterinary school in Romania approved by the European Association of Establishment for Veterinary Education. It's very important for us. This EVA accreditation comes as a recognition of the high standards and quality in education provided by teachers in both academic and research in a very modern facilities. Also, it's important for our students because this EVA accreditation ensures the international recognition of the diplomas in all European um, Union. Our diplomas obtained in Cluj-Napoca, they are recognized. I want to be short. So, dear students, take full advantage of what our university and for the students for Medicine University offer. Everything that all the teachers offering during lecturers, practicals work or clinical stages. But also don't forget to take advantage of the social and cultural opportunities our local city has to offer. So in the end, I wish a very good academic year, good luck, and have a nice time here in Cluj-Napoca. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, next, I will address the speech to Professor Shoimitsa Suchu, the Dean of the Faculty of Medicine. Please. Good morning, uh, dear guests, Professor Andrei Hertege, dear colleagues. It's my pleasure today to welcome you in the Faculty of Medicine in, and in our university. It's a little bit cold in here, it seems to me, but uh, however, I'm sure that each of you has emotions today, and I assure you, so do we. It's a great journey you start today. It will be not an easy one. And of course, you might ask yourselves, did I choose well? Is it a good choice? And the answer is yes, you have chosen well. Our faculty is the best medical faculty in Romania. We are ranked by the National Agency for Quality Assurance in Higher Education with level of trust, which is the highest level. Besides that, uh, during the last decades, uh, development of the university and uh, also of the faculty have led us to European integration and recognition of diplomas. I have to mention that uh, we are accredited. We have uh, received the uh, label SIDMEF coming from the associations of deans and faculties of French-speaking world, let's say. We have been accredited by uh, European Association of Medical Faculties, and I would uh, add that uh, the Ministry of Health in Israel is fully recognizing our diplomas. Beside that, of course, you could uh, ask yourselves, am I fit to these tasks? And I am sure you are. 
Uh, Professor Mann, who's the head of international students departments, can uh, certify my words. We have looked very carefully into your files. And I congratulate each of you for uh, your achievements so far, for your strong will to become physicians. And I am sure that uh, based on the education we offer and based on your own work in the end, you will be able to perform your profession and to improve health and the quality of life, not only within uh, your region, but also in an international uh, context. And speaking of an international context, uh, Vice Rector Mureshan has already mentioned that uh, in our university, uh, there are studying today more than 3,000 international students. And uh, this year, you are supposed to be here around uh, 200 new students, freshmen, as uh, we call you. Uh, internationalization is a, a cornerstone for uh, the university. And I strongly believe it is even more important today as it was before, as we all have to stand together to face the challenges of uh, this changing world we are living in. Uh, yes, it's not easy to be a student, and a medical one especially, of course, and it's not easy to study abroad. However, this uh, multicultural uh, environment you will be living in for uh, six years is interesting and will allow you to meet uh, new people will, uh, with different backgrounds and uh, such people could become your friends, could inspire you and could be a model for you. So look very well around you. These are your colleagues and they might be your friends. So whenever you feel the need, please call them for your professional or personal problems. Uh, I will not hide that also internalization is a challenge for the university and for the faculty. And uh, actions have been taken in order to improve the admission system. We organize uh, meetings not only with freshmen, but also with uh, international students in upper years. And uh, Juliana can assure you of that. And furthermore, EMSA and uh, their, uh, your colleagues in your uh, upper years also teach our tutors because we have a tutorial system. And in fact, uh, all of us will, uh, take, will keep an eye on you and will help you with whatever problems you could have. And because we are here, let me introduce my own team. They have come to greet you today and to welcome you all. Professor Anka Bojan, Vice Dean of the Medical Faculty. <laughs> Professor Olga Orashan, Vice Dean also of the Medical Faculty. Associate uh, Professor Dana Krishan, Vice Dean of the Medical Faculty. <laughs> Associate Professor Sorin Krishan, Vice Dean of the Medical Faculty. Uh, I was telling you it's, well, it will be for sure a very interesting and uh, journey you will have, amazing in fact. And uh, of course you will have to work hard, no doubt of it. But uh, beside that, uh, as uh, Professor Andre has mentioned, you have come here to, to have an education, but you will leave Cluj with much more than that. I strongly advise you to take breaks from your uh, student activities. Just dive into the local life, make local friends, just enjoy your life here, and I'm sure in the end of these six years you will have unforgettable memories. So, in my name, in, my na in the name of my colleagues, I once again welcome you. I wish you best of success, and since I uh, see some parents here in the room, I thank them also for having trust in uh, our education, in the education we offer. Best of success for you, and I will be seeing you in the next semester. I will be teaching you physiology. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Dean. And now, because we have here also students from the uh, dental medicine faculty, uh, Professor Barus Manole, the Vice Dean of the faculty, will address you a few words. Thank you, Mr. Vice uh, Rector. Uh, good morning to everyone, uh, honored member of the board of the university, honored invited. 
I have the pleasure and honor to send a message from uh, the board of the, of the Faculty of Dental Medicine on behalf of the Mr. Dean, uh, Christian Dino. And in this uh, first festive uh, <clears throat> meeting of the academic year, we would like and uh, would to um, congratulate our young students and uh, the beginning of the academic life. Uh, dear students, um, beginning now the most wonderful period of your life, the student life. And um, you are done with childhood and uh, with adolescent life, and from now you are adults. You have the possibility and opportunity to step on the path on the, you have chosen in your desired uh, profession. Together with all my colleagues, teachers, colleagues, we support and uh, collaborate with you to <clears throat> adjust the academic life and you will see this academic life will be a little bit different than uh, uh, what uh, life you have uh, till now. The advantage and also, and more than this, the obligation to the student of the dental medicine and not only the dentist medicine of the University of Medicine of Cluj uh, will be a guide on the medicine uh, career. And um, everything you learn from now, you learn from yourself and uh, to be very good and very well prepared in your profession. The parents, the family, the, the friends uh, put hope on you and we, like teachers, hope to help you to um, validate your uh, quality and uh, your ethical and professional qualities. And uh, don't forget, in this six year, you will um, uh, form long-lasting friendship. And uh, don't forget that we, the teachers, will be beside of you in this fantastic journey that expect you. Good luck at all of you and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor. And as all my colleagues said, because you will live here a long period and a very nice one, maybe uh, <laughs> the most, uh, not easy, but uh, the most adventurous of your life. We are trying uh, to uh, help you feel like home. But uh, for this, you must keep also contacts with your country. And uh, for uh, this reason, uh, we have developed and we are glad to have uh, the support of the uh, German Cultural Center. And from that point of view, uh, Mr. Ingo Teke is the director of the uh, Romanian German Cultural Center and it is here in Cluj with you and will be all the time beside you. Mr. Ingo. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Vice Rector, uh, dear uh, representatives of the universities, dear students. Uh, I'm very happy to be here again today. Um, uh, I have been invited to the new uh, welcoming days of the new students uh, a few years already, uh, with the sad exceptions of the pandemic where it had to happen online, of course. And it makes me very happy to see so many international students coming to Cluj. And first of all, I want to congratulate you all for making this decision to come here to study abroad, which of course, and I know it from personal experience, uh, requires uh, quite a degree of uh, courage and also determination. I'm pretty sure that you made absolutely the right decision. It was already said, um, Romania is a, is a beautiful country, Cluj is a beautiful city. Uh, you might have heard that in 2014, Cluj actually got the title of most welcoming city to foreigners uh, in Europe. And speaking from my personal experience, that is absolutely true. Uh, people here will make an effort uh, to make you feel at home. Um, adding to that what was said before, this is also probably the safest city I have lived in so far, which includes ma many cities in Germany, for example, and in other parts of the world. Um, this was a good choice. I'm, I'm sure of it. Generally, what we do at the German Cultural Center is our job um, 
or our mission is to promote and enable cultural dialogue, uh, mostly of course between people from Cluj and from Germany, uh, but also in a broader, more international sense. The reason why we do this is uh, that we uh, thoroughly believe, and not just us, also foreign cultural policy of Germany uh, believes strongly in this, is that understanding each other is the basis for trust, and trust is the basis for international cooperation. So in times like these, what we have now with pandemic, with war, with other struggles on an international scale, what we really need to do is understand each other, learn to trust each other, and form uh, meaningful international bonds. And uh, you again, uh, with your decision of studying abroad, have made a big step uh, to make this possible and possible for more and more people. So thank you for that. Um, one more thing I would like to add uh, is that I believe that as guests in Romania, we have a certain responsibility. Um, I can only speak from the German perspective because I'm German, but I know that in Germany, Romania is not as well known as it uh, deserves to be or should be. And I would invite all of you to act as cultural ambassadors of your new home and um, promote it towards family and friends at home, invite them over, and by this uh, also enable and promote uh, the cultural ties between Romania and your home countries. One last thing I wanted to add is, and uh, I'm picking up what also uh, Ms. Suchu uh, said before, that it is very important to not only focus on your academic career. I know that studying anything related to medicine is time consuming, can be stressful and uh, is a full-time job, so to speak. But please take the time to also um, discover the city, discover the local culture, um, because to become really functioning adults, in my opinion, it's important to have a multitude of ex uh, perspectives and ex uh, experiences. And if you only focus on studying, you can become what we call in German a Fachidiot. So somebody who knows a lot about one specific topic and basically nothing about everything else. So try to avoid that. Um, maybe one last word um, to do so. I also cordially invite you to explore the cultural scene of the city. We, for example, the German Cultural Center, together with our friends from the Institut Francais, will have an electro arts festival, uh, not this weekend, but the next one, called Clujotronic. It's uh, open to the public, free of charge. Come over if you want to experience a fusion of art and technology. You can find more about it on uh, our website, uh, our uh, Facebook, or www.clujotronic.ro. But if you don't come to us, explore other uh, possibilities, go to the museums, uh, meet people from here, and, well, uh, basically enjoy your life, uh, because uh, these experiences will last your lifetime, and uh, I know I enjoy it very much here in Cluj. I hope you will too, and I wish you best of luck and success with your academic career. Thank you very much. Mr. Tejas, thank you for your nice words about the university and the city. <laughs> thank you for the support you provide to our students. And also speaking about support, about the fact uh, that you are not alone, even you are not with your family, you have good friends. You have your own uh, student association. And we have here Ms. Juliana Mureshan, the Vice President of the English Medical Student Association. We will do many things together, please. Hi, so um, I'm the Vice President of the English Medical Students Association. Um, it's a non-profit organization and basically what we do is give back to the community through volunteering projects and donation, but I think the main concept of EMSA is we're a network of support. Uh, you get to socialize a lot with the older years. You <laughs> And it's just basically where we can all, you know, get together, help each other, understand each other, and um, you can also participate in a lot of innovative projects. So, yeah. Uh, there are many students' activities, uh, and uh, besides your activities in the English um, Medical Students Association, I advise you uh, to take contact with Romanian students, with uh, students from other countries. We have an intercultural uh, many intercultural activities uh, trying to make you 
know all the students from our university and uh, to know uh, the student life in Cluj Napoca. Because here we have many universities, uh, general sciences, technical university, uh, art university, and it's uh, a very live city. And now uh, our dean will present you the first step of uh, your student life, what you have uh, to know, what you have to do even if not all the topics will uh, be addressed completely, it is the beginning. And uh, our advice, whatever questions you have, the board of the University of the, of the Faculty is beside you. You have questions, question us. We have, you have questions for the teacher, ask them questions, okay? And now, beginning. Uh, thank you. So I will give you just a little bit of practical information. There are a lot and many news for you as freshmen. I will try to keep it short since you uh, further on uh, have uh, other activities. Uh, so, what we are calling survival kit or essential information for freshmen. And I will explain you a little bit about organization, about uh, academic year, when you will have your holidays. This is uh, major interest. Curriculum, what does it mean? Uh, content organization, a little bit about the exams. How, what kind of regulations uh, you should be aware of? And uh, some information for uh, your help. So, uh, as uh, you already might know, if you have uh, seen uh, the university site, uh, Yuli Hatsiegano University is consisted of three faculties, uh, medical faculty, dental medicine, and also pharmacy. Uh, there are only uh, medical faculty and dental medicine that organize studies in English language. Pharmacy is organizing studies in Romanian and uh, French. Uh, the university is led by rector and her team. You will see uh, later Professor Anka Buzoianu. Uh, what you see in the picture below is the administration council, consisted of the rector, deans, uh, vice rectors, and uh, administrative staff. Uh, you already have met me. You will, uh, dental students, you will meet uh, Professor Dino. He's the dean of uh, the dental uh, medical faculty and Professor Krishan, who's the Dean of the Pharmacy. Uh, very important information is uh, who are your secretaries, because you will uh, very tightly collaborate with them. And in the picture up, you have the Chief Secretary of the University, Valeria Meseshan. He, uh, she is the former uh, Chief Secretary of the Medical Faculty, so she knows a lot and detail what uh, student life means. And in the pictures below, you have Adriana Gallo. She already uh, has uh, met you. She handed over your, uh, uh, the International Study Guide. And uh, on your right side, uh, Mrs. Alexandra Siladi, Chief Secretary for Dental uh, Medicine. If you are wondering what do we expect from you, uh, at the first sight, and to be, be very short and precise, uh, we expect uh, to have a real partnership. And uh, as any partnership, sound ones, uh, of course, we have to <clears throat> take into account the regulations. And the most important for you are the university charta, regulation uh, of the student activity, and that include the, um, includes uh, exam regulation. And please know also code of ethics and code of conduct. These are matter of uh, professionalism. And uh, if you have checked uh, your schedule, starting next week, you will have a few lectures about what professionalism means and what we expect from you, let's say, in more detail. Anyway, uh, I would like to put emphasis on this idea, know the rules. You can find all these rules on uh, the university and faculty site, and in part, uh, you can read them in uh, the international uh, study guides. Now going to curriculum, what does it mean? For both medicine and uh, dental medicine, you will have to spend six years in Cluj, and six years are counted also in what we are calling ECTSs, uh, European uh, uh, credits for uh, transferable credits. What is an ECTS and what exactly does it express? 
In fact, it uh, reflects the workload you have to put in each of the disciplines. And this means how many hours you have to be present for the lectures, for the practicals, and how many hours of individual study you have to allocate for one given discipline. Uh, you will earn the CTSs given to a certain discipline by passing the exam in that discipline. Six years, 360 credits, it, mean, it means uh, 60 credits per year, uh, or 30 credits for semester. Talking about disciplines, once again, if you have taken a look into your schedule, you will see that you have certain disciplines for first year anatomy, which is the most important and the most scaring, I would add. I hope uh, anatomists don't hear me today. You will have also biophysics, biochemistry, and many others. Uh, most of the disciplines are compulsory, meaning that each of the students have to go through that disciplines. In part, you will also follow some electives, and for the electives, uh, in the end of this year, you, uh, will have op you will have to express your options for the disciplines proposed for the next year. As for uh, the disciplines, each discipline has a theoretical part, lectures, and a practical part, which for the first years, and the basic disciplines means uh, laboratories, and for the last years, clinical disciplines mean clinical stages. Of course, since our patients are Romanian, you are supposed to learn uh, Romanian language, and in the end of your third year, before you go into clinic, you have to pass a Romanian language exam. Romanian language exam does not mean academic Romanian. You will not use that. Uh, for the duration of your studies, all lectures will be held in English. But you need to know Romanian at the conversational level, and this is what exam will, um, will uh, estimate. So, once again, I come with my advice, try to have Romanian friends also for this purpose, learn Romanian. Uh, as for the disciplines, uh, what does it mean, mandatory activities? It means that for each of the lectures, you have to be present for 70% of the lectures, and now I'm drawing your attention on this aspect for the practical activities, whether they are in uh, basic disciplines or in clinical disciplines, you have to be 100% present. Of course, you might be ill, you might feel unwell. Uh, those uh, practicals you will not be able to attend, you will have to redo those. But in the end, in order to be admitted for the exam, you, you have to go through all, all the practicals. Uh, I also, uh, I'm making this observation because it is important and uh, you should know it from the beginning. Whatever the reason is, if you miss more than 20% of one uh, discipline practicals, you have to redo the whole discipline. And now going to exams. All of you are interested in the exams, of course, and the evaluation is done through exams. Each of the exams has two parts, one which is uh, theoretical and watch, one which is practical. And in order to pass the examination, you need to pass both parts. The exams, uh, theoretical ones, might be oral, might be written. Most of the exams are in written form, and uh, most are as multiple choice type of examination to which some open short questions are added. Anyway, once again, by passing an exam, you have to pass, to pass practical and theoretical, and by passing the exam, you earn the credits for that uh, discipline. Um, as for the grades, in Romania, grades are going from one, the worst. In fact, uh, I do not remember a student who got one for any kind of examination. It's bad, bad. Uh, the highest grade is 10, and in order to pass the exam, you need to get at least a 5. That's the passing grade. I'm sure that each of you will have much higher grades, not only 5. It's, I would say, not quite enough. Uh, what does it mean, residual credits? Maybe you will not pass all your exams. What does it mean? What are the consequences of it? Uh, the exams you did not pass, uh, we are calling them as being the residual credits. The consequences for the first three years, uh, if you have at least 50 credits out of 60 which are allocated for the disciplines in that year, you may pass into the next year. But if you have failed exams 
and the ECTSs for those exams are summing more than 10 ECTSs, you will be put in what's called to be complementary year, which means you simply have to redo the disciplines uh, you have lost. I also make this observation because it's also of importance. In the end of your third year, in order to be admitted in the fourth, you need to have all the CTSs for the first three years, so you have to pass all the exams. Um, we did mention that, yes, we advise you to, to have a social life, and that's absolutely necessary. We did not exactly name what could be your areas of interest outside school because we simply, well, I simply fear that you will dive too deep into that uh, as Cluj has so many cultural activities, concerts, and many, many others. So, of course, you are advised to have a social life. But on the other hand, your first interest is to study, and my strong advice for you, try to have each exam at its own time. Do not postpone it, do not let it for the next year. It only be will become more and more uh, difficult. As for academic year, what does it mean when, you will have, uh, when will you have uh, didactic activities, when will you have uh, holidays? So uh, the year is organized into semesters, first one which begins on Monday and which ends uh, in the, the end of uh, January. Uh, during, so you will have practically uh, 12 weeks of school, then we all will have the winter holiday. We did not yet start, but I have to admit I hardly can wait for that holiday. Uh, then after the winter holiday you will have uh, two more weeks of school and then you will have your first session. Uh, I dare to say it will be the most difficult one. You will see that uh, your life as a high school uh, student is uh, very different from a student life. Uh, after the winter session, you will have what we call the uh, holiday between the two semesters, and then the second semester will begin in 27th of February. It will also last for 14 weeks. Uh, you will have a short spring holiday, short meaning one week, and then you will have the summer session starting 12th of June until 7th of July. Uh, I was uh, telling you how important it is to have it, uh, the exam at, at its own time. And in fact, I will mention that you have three occasions for each of the exams. For instance, if you have a discipline for the first semester, your first uh, occasion to uh, pass the exam is the winter session. If, unhappily, you will uh, fail, then you will have two remaining occasions, which are the first and the second re-examination uh, sessions. It's the same for the summer holiday, it's the uh, summer session, the first occasion, and then you have the remaining two examination sessions. Then, of course, the summer holiday will begin, but during the summer holiday, you still have some uh, mandatory activity, which is uh, summer internship, which you can do in one of uh, the hospitals in Cluj or in uh, your own uh, country. Uh, what uh, about uh, guidance and uh, support? And in fact, you already have received this morning international stud student guides which gives uh, you information about, uh, let's say, the library, about uh, organization of the fa activity within the faculty, uh, what official documents you need, uh, about scholarship, and this is an important uh, chapter. Uh, one of the most important uh, educational instrument is the study guide ECTS. And in this guide, you will be given this guide in your first days in school by your secretary. Uh, this guide contains uh, important information, meaning uh, the curriculum, and this means what disciplines you will study in each year, uh, what reference you have to read uh, to prepare for the exam, how many hours do you have to spend uh, in school for a given discipline, the type of examination, and uh, many others. Uh, I advise you strongly to use this uh, tutorial program. It is underused, I would say. What does it mean? You have student tutors, and they will give you valuable information, and they might be, I would uh, dare to say, a little bit closer to you. But on the other hand, we also are um, offering teachers as tutors, 
and please address them. You will have a meeting with your tutors tomorrow. Please, they will give uh, you their email address. Please address your tutors for any problems you could have. There can be many kinds of problems. Where for, from should I study? Should I be present for school? Where should I go? How should I do it? Please use this system. The tutors are very open. They are offering by themselves, are voluntarily offering as tutors, and they are eager to work with you. Um, as I was mentioning, so tomorrow morning, uh, 9 o'clock, you will meet uh, your uh, tutors. Uh, going further, you have information also on Join uh, UMF, and I strongly advise you to, to uh, put on your cell phones this uh, application, which is called InfoTIL, which, me which means useful information. It is uh, free of charge, and it gives you information about your schedule, about exams, about the campus, and uh, so on. And just to give you an example, of course, I do not imagine you could choose Romanian language, not yet. But in the end of uh, your third year, I strongly advise you to know uh, a little bit of Romanian. So you will have, uh, for instance, information for students, what disciplines you have to study, what's the structure of the year, with the, it means uh, when uh, the holidays are scheduled, this is valuable information about regulation fees and uh, many others. Disciplines, anatomy is the first uh, tough disciplines you will meet. It will tell you where it is placed and it offers you uh, uh, the possibility to navigate through your location. So, so if you have lectures starting at uh, 9 and it's 10 to 9 and you will see you still have four to six minutes to walk, that's a very serious problem. Uh, so, uh, you will have information of student organization uh, and also your colleagues, your tutors from ENSA will uh, give you such information. So please use the application. Uh, I also um, draw your attention on this uh, Psychological Counseling and Professional Orientation Center for Students. Uh, the head of it is uh, Mrs. Popescu. You will meet her these days. She is speaking uh, many languages. She's a psychologist. So whenever you feel you could have a problem, please address her. Uh, you have here her email address, and I will send this presentation into your own email addresses in the next few days. So please uh, address her. She's very open, and she will help you with whatever problems you could uh, encounter in your first days. Communication is very important. Uh, you need to know uh, the schedule, you need to know the regulation, you need to know new announcements. We also need to inform you and we need to know about you. How do we communicate? This is a, a very strong key to a successful relationship. So um, this is the email address of the Dean's Office for uh, Medicine, at least. You have that uh, info till application. You will have Yahoo groups. There is a notice board and to the entrance of the dean's offices for both dental and uh, medical uh, faculties. Please check the websites and you have also tutors. So please use this communication means for whatever problems you could uh, have. Uh, Professor uh, Mureshan, Vice Rector Mureshan has gone through uh, some facilities offered by uh, the universities. I still would like to mention scholarships for best students, best results, they are offered uh, scholarships of uh, 3,000 uh, euro per year, and you can find instructions for uh, application for such scholarships on our web website. I also uh, make known that uh, I, sh I am sure you will be uh, very pleased to work in uh, the Practical Skills and Simulation Center, which awaits you during your third year. And uh, later on, you will also work here. This is for medicine. You will work on mannequins before you will perform such maneuvers on real patients. Dental medicine is also very well uh, equipped. Uh, I also advise you for those interested uh, to get involved in research activities. There are research groups of which you could be interested and you can find the list and their area of interests on the university and on the faculty side. 
you can apply for research grants for students. Not yet, you are still young students. Uh, it's not to be expected, I would say, to, for you to have scientific ideas um, in your first year, but please be aware of this possibility. And um, uh, you can present later on uh, your papers either within the university days or uh, within the university, uh, the student congress is organized by both uh, dental medical faculty and uh, our own medical uh, faculty. Um, you will spend lots of time in the university's library. It's, uh, it's large. Besides that, not that you will be physically present, but you will have access to many, many books. We have uh, thousands, hundreds of books. Uh, in that study guide I have been mentioning for each of the disciplines, you have information about what kind of references you should use for each of the exams you will have to pass. Sport based restaurant, we are calling that Salmonella. I do not know for what reasons. Uh, hostels and, of course, uh, the bookstore. Uh, well, uh, medical students are humorous, of course, this uh, name it's uh, their own uh, finding, let's say, their own idea. And uh, this is just a few information. There is a lot, so if you feel confused, and of course you might be confused at least for the first day. It's a, for, it's a new country, it's a new uh, home for you, new friends, new, te new teachers. Please discuss your problems. You can uh, discuss your problems with uh, your colleagues, with your tutors, with your secretary, and if you have, uh, let's say, uh, more serious problems, you can, uh, and you have access to any of, of my colleagues' vice deans and to me also, I am, we are there for you, in fact. Uh, of course, our collaboration is based on rules. Uh, there are so many students, both you and uh, us, have to stick to the rules, so be aware of the rules. In fact, what do we expect from you to be successful? Simply to attend the courses and the practicals, to go to school, to have school, to have interest for school. This is the basic and the main key to be a successful student. So spend time for your individual uh, uh, study. Uh, do your best to develop uh, your knowledge and abilities, and of course, and obviously this is in your own interest, we will be there for you. Please stick to the academic regulations, so do we. Uh, have an academic behavior not only within the university, but also outside it. And uh, my advice for you, take part in extracurricular activities as much as you can. It's fun, you can have new friends, you have to have ways in which you remove the stress because being a medical student can, can be stressful at, uh, at times. This is how it goes. So uh, if all goes well, we will be uh, celebrating together in uh, 2028 your graduation uh, ceremony. So uh, this is once again the team, the leadership team of the university. We all wish you success. Please use all your means you have in order to be informed or to be helped if you need help. We are there for you. We expect you to have an academic behavior and I'm sure you will have. Do not forget to live your life. We all have to live our lives. And I wish you all uh, good success in the years to come. And uh, with this, I think uh, we have gone through what we have to go uh, through today. I myself will be seeing you in uh, the second semester. I hardly can wait for that. Until that, you will be already having passed an anatomy examination. Uh, please enjoy these welcoming days. I advise you to, to be present for all the activities. Uh, I think that now you will be led by EMSA into, for a visit within the university. There are many buildings, but you will find information on the application, how time you need from one amphitheater to the next one, just to check if you have time for a small coffee before the anatomy lecture, of course. And also, I uh, invite you later today uh, to th at 14.30 uh, uh, to be present once again in this uh, amphitheater in the aula for uh, an administration session. So thank you for today. I thank you also the parents which have been present today, and I wish you a successful student life. All the best for you. Thank you.